Good evening, Southeast Texas. I'm Claydra Rhodes. It's back to the negotiations table for the city of Beaumont and the firefighters union. The two failed to reach a contract agreement today. 12 News reporter Kyle Orr attended the meeting today. He joins us live from City Hall in downtown Beaumont with a recap. Kyle. Well, Claydra, the city and the local union have been tense negotiations for some time now. One union member in attendance even called the city's latest proposal, quote, a joke. So let's go ahead and go into the numbers on this. So the city's proposal included a 16% pay increase divided over four years with a minimum of 2% going towards firefighters pensions. The combined total could not exceed 4% in any one year. Now the negotiations have been ongoing for nearly a year now before the firefighters contract ended. President of the union Jeffrey, ne Jeffrey Neesom says the union made their first proposal last November to help fast track negotiations. A grievance was filed by the union on September 3rd and in it the union stated the city refused to fairly negotiate as the fire department experienced budget challenges. But now it's back to the negotiating table. I believe that we got today what we expected to, what we expected in return from the from the city. Um, we're looking forward to our next contract negotiations. I believe that, that we've got a long way to go still, but we're prepared and optimistic. The city of Beaumont is not commenting on the matter, telling 12 News they signed an agreement with the union that they would not release any statements to the media on this matter. Now, the city and the Beaumont Professional Firefighters Local 399 are set to uh, meet again Wednesday, November 6th at 1 p.m. Live at City Hall, Kyle Orr, 12 News. Thanks, Kyle, for breaking that down. 12 News has been there from the beginning. Following the latest on the negotiations, you can read our full coverage online and on our 12 News Now app.